a bull can be quite quiet and workable, but yet you can't predict the minute. And they're a massive animal compared with us, so they only have to play with us to kill us. It was May 2005 that the accident happened. We had put the bull with a small batch of cows in a cubicle house out in the yard. Uh, and over a period of a month or so, he seemed to be showing signs of becoming aggressive. I had noticed that there was a cow in heat and I felt it would maybe be a good time to get him slipped out along with the cow to get him separated away into a house of his own. There were maybe 18 or 20 cows closed up in this section of the shed where the bull was running with them. So I came in to get the bull out and he was standing just opposite where I am now, facing away from me and the cow in heat, she was over just in front of his nose. So I raced over, uh, gave the cow a wee tap and whenever I did that I seen the bull was turning around towards me. So I looked as to how I might get away if he kept coming. I turned around to make me escape and he just bang against my back and just with the one left straight up against this wall and then he put his head against my leg here and he screwed his head there against my leg which seemed like two or three minutes it mightn't have been that long and once the aggression left him he just walked back into the cows again as though nothing had ever happened. My leg was was badly bruised and sort of burned where it rubbed up the wall and there was quite a bit of muscle injury and then also my collarbone had been broken as a result of the initial thump that he gave me. It took three to six months to get the collarbone and the, the leg back to normal. I had the bill put the pressure on my upper body that he was putting on my leg, uh, I have no doubt to believe that I would have been destroyed. The farm worker was up at the gate, you know, to keep the cows back that we didn't want out really, and he saw the whole thing happening, but with cows standing between him and the bull, once the bull walked away, he was able to come down to me and help me to get sort of straightened up and, and get out. After a minute or two, I realised injuries that maybe needs to be attended to, so then I came into, my, into the house to my wife and went to the accident emergency in Lagan Valley. The injuries, um, both, both, both were a bit of a handicap. I was able to walk, even though it was a bit, it was painful. And the bigger restriction, I suppose, was the collarbone in that my arm was in a sling. So I wasn't able to milk for about two to three months. You have to employ people to do your work while you're laid aside, so that was extra financial implications that there were. I'm very thankful that uh, it wasn't fatal, you know, and obviously, you know, when you have a close encounter like that, you just be thinking, where would we be if this had been fatal? As the bull did appear to be aggressive and dangerous, and we didn't have a proper bull pen to keep the bull in, uh, we just uh, moved him off the farm for slaughter as soon as that was possible. The biggest change we made was just to uh, get a proper bull pen so that uh, we don't have to be in with the bull in any shape or form. So that leaves that a lot safer, but we always uh, tread very carefully in where we'll position ourselves and always keep an eye um, on the bull. The accident certainly has made me more cautious working with bulls um, and it also would make you more cautious maybe in all safety aspects. I was caught keeping my eye fixed on the bull and that was the one thing that really surprised me that even with watching him 
he got me. They all have to be treated with respect and don't take any risks that you can avoid.